Scottish Aver 1000 here. I'm going to start this truck up and put some bushings on the stabilizer bar. So, let's see if it'll start. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be putting these bushings on, and uh, I'm going to start it up and pull it over here on the concrete. This thing, like I've said a hundred times, it's got over half a million miles on it. No check engine light, but it does have an ABS light on it, and I'll show you what that what that is once we get underneath it. Got a belt squealing. It just started doing that, so. It does have a miss in it. When you go to take off. Uh, see, it eats up coil packs like crazy. There's the ABS light, so let's go ahead and pull this over. go to take off now if you're going down the road 70 mile an hour 80 miles an hour this thing just runs like a top all right all right so we're here now let's get under this thing see it at higher rpms it runs fine but if you got a stomp on it, kind of got that hesitation. So it doesn't like going up hills or anything like that. All right, let's get under this thing and change these bushings. Okay, guys, so right here's one of the bushings that's bad. I kind of rigged it up uh, before because I had the wrong bushings. That one doesn't look too bad. But, of course, you get them both, and we're just going to we're gonna change them both. But... What that does, you also have bushings up in there that uh, also hold it into place right there. There's two on the top and two down there on your lower control arm. But what this does, it keeps the truck kind of like from leaning. Like if you're if you're going around a turn, it keeps it from leaning, and it's more stable. That's why it's called stabilizer bar. Um, uh, I just always call them stabilizer bushings, stabilizer bar bushings. Um, so we're going to take these off. I don't know how well I can get this camera up in here for you to, to see, to watch this or not. But as you can see, it's only two bolts. This is a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Now, I may have to get another camera that I can fit up under here but yeah we're just going to take these two bolts out right here one on the bottom one on the top but this thing gets to banging and and rattling around I'll go get something to on it and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay guys so I got a jack under here just support this a little bit but I can't really pry on this but there you go if you're hearing that noise check these things and they shouldn't be like super tight they're only a 12 millimeter head all right, one. All right let me go get a uh, a uh, shoot extension hang on guys okay guys so this is what I got here Got a big long extension get away from the radiator and stuff. This has got a wobble. It's supposed to be like that. So I might be able to... Okay, cool. We can get that in there. Right. Okay. 
that's uh that's pretty much it for that now we're gonna take the old one out I in fact I don't even think this is the old one I think I made this I did a video on it but now they're easy to put in just uh, take your take them out of the bag give it a little pull tug and that's it then we're gonna put that in there start our bolts and then I'll do the other side because well you get the idea now hopefully um, you can see maybe that clean mark right there where everything was rubbing now sometimes you'll have to pry that down a little bit get on something pry it down to line these bolts up it's not it's not real difficult so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get that started in there I might be able to start it with this yeah just don't cross thread it okay that one started now I'm going to start the top I'm going to tighten them down and that's it then I'll show you what's wrong with the ABS light okay so this is why the ABS is off or the light is on um, this I believe this happened when the front wheel came off and I thought I had it fixed um, looks like my black tape on there okay yeah yeah I did fix it right there but for some reason it broke here now so all I gotta do is get this ABS sensor here damn scammers and uh, it'll come with the uh, the wire and everything to go up in there I could probably fix that but I mean it broke once right so uh, so yeah what I'm that's what I'm gonna do off get one of those but that's the only reason why the ABS lights on there's nothing wrong with the system itself so anyway guys so there's how you put these uh, stabilizer bushings on two bolts real simple the other side was real simple so there you go now it will not clunk and bang on down the road cool I still need to get it lined up but it does need an alignment on it looks like we got an oil leak here somewhere but it's very slow because it never leaves a drop on the concrete but as you can see it's leaking I'm guessing that it's the uh, valve cover leaking running down um, but that's what happens with these a lot of times like if you got these hoses under here like a power steering hose or a transmission uh, line like that if they start leaking sometimes it'll eat that rubber right up so anyway it's good to go so hopefully this helps someone that's got to do the same thing or looking for that issue so all right Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend I'm gone for now guys thanks for watching remember this is 2003 I think uh, 2004 is the same and uh, I can't remember what years but anyway guys have a great one we'll see you soon bye bye